Okay, time for some chicken noodle soup. What I have in the pot here is just some salt and pepper and some chicken and about four cups of water. I'm going to get chopped up, some celery. I'm going to add some 365. Sorry about the bag being a little tore, but three pepper blend. I'm going to use some 365 extra wide noodles, chop up some onions. So for this recipe, I'm using three stalks of celery. And yes, I rinsed it really well. Purchased this from my local Whole Foods. And I do leave the leaves on, um, especially if they look great. And I'm gonna get this chopped up. Okay guys, what I have here is basically half of a large onion, or you can just use a medium size sweet onion. Um, and I have my celery and a little bit of the leaves chopped up. And I'm going to add this to the chicken. So I'm going to add this into the pot. And if I didn't mention, I have my chicken cooking on a high temperature to boil it, to get the water to boil. So I'm going to add these nice veggies in here, my onions, get that stirred in. I'm going to add a nice heaping teaspoon of organic minced garlic. Let that cook in to the meat. So I'm going to bring this to a boil and I'm going to let it boil for about possibly 15 minutes and I'll check the chicken and share what that looks like. So while my chicken is boiling, I have a nice heaping handful of power greens. I typically just use spinach, but this combination of greens is baby chard, baby spinach, and baby kale mixed together. So I'm going to rinse that off and I'm going to give it a nice big chop. Okay, my chicken is boiling. Um, I have tested the chicken. I'm gonna let it boil for approximately 25 minutes. I may have said 15 earlier, but uh, we wanna make sure that chicken is thoroughly cooked. And so once that's cooked, I'm going to move it out of the water onto um, uh, my cutting board to either shred or cut. So I haven't decided yet, but I will share. But as I near the end of the boiling for my chicken, I'm gonna go ahead and get my water boiling for my noodles. So as you can see, I have four chicken breasts. So my chicken is pretty well cooked because it's coming apart really easily so I'm going to use the shredded method some people will dice it but I'm going to go ahead and shred up this chicken and get all these pieces nicely shredded like that okay guys look at all that meat I'm going to add this back to the water it was boiling in on the stove Okay, got the chicken back in its water, and what better way to add another pop of flavor is to add some 365, yes, three bell pepper blend to the pot. So I have a half a bag here, and I'm going to get that poured in. These bell peppers can be used in so many uh, recipes. Um, and I just love that um, I can keep them in the freezer and they're handy for dishes um, that I need to make that require um, bell pepper and I may forget to pick up from the store or um, 
you know, um, I just don't have on hand. So I got that all stirred in. I'm gonna look over here. My noodles are getting going. They have about four minutes left. And I'm gonna get those added over here and show you a snack. Okay guys, as you can see, there's a creamy mixture in there. And what I'm adding is two large cans of cream of chicken soup. So one can is about 22 ounces. So we're gonna add two of those. Okay. And try to get it all out the can. I'll get to, to that in a moment. But right now, I'm just going to stir this into my water and chicken mixture. This is a quick fix meal. It takes under an hour to make. And um, it's delicious. Quick and simple. You don't have to be a chef to make this. Pack with tons of flavor. And uh, so as I'm getting that, my noodles are about to go off. So I'm going to move those over as well. Okay, guys, I consider myself the queen of herbs. So I have added um, some organic basil leaves, organic um, oregano, and cilantro, and those big green flakes are partially. So um, if I would have had on hand, which I don't, I would have preferred to use the fresh version of all three. Um, well, all four, I'll say. And it just gives the dish an extra beautiful color to it. And also, you know, um, a nice flavor, even though the leaves do the same thing as well. Um, what I'm going to be adding, it seems like I'm advertising. I'm not being paid for this advertisement, but I do love 365, um, um, a lot of their um, products and this one is a non-gmo product so although we have onions in here i feel spices and herbs are the love of a dish so yes i am adding extra here and i always say you can never add too much um, because i'm not adding any additional salt to this dish you can add more salt if you want but there is salt in the noodles and i did add salt to the boiling chicken with pepper so i'm also going to add some 365 garlic which is also non-gmo purified and i'm going to add some of that even though i have the minced garlic already in here like i said this gives my dishes an extra pop of flavor so i'm going to get this all stirred in doesn't that look delicious I know someone is saying, where are the power greens? So what I'm going to do is I have turned my dish down and I just want the noodles to absorb some of that delicious cream of chicken soup. So you can add your favorite brand of whatever type you like of cream of chicken soup and um, let the soup also um get into this nice chicken chunks of chicken i have here so i'm gonna let this do its thing for about five minutes and then i'm gonna add my power greens look at how delicious okay i let my noodle mixture cook for about seven minutes and look how nice and plump the noodles are and how the meat has soaked up a lot of that noodle and uh, herb flavoring. So my camera's steaming up a little bit because I'm a little too close. But the last 
it is my power greens. I'm going to get that poured in there. Make sure I get all of it in there. And I'm not really trying to cook my power greens. I just want them to wilt down. So I'll give them a cover up for about, oh, about five minutes. And then we're ready for soup. So we want our greens a little, you know, uh, wilted like you see here. And at this point, you can do a little taste test to see if you desire more salt or more seasoning uh, to your dish. And um, I did that with mine. I added just a tad more salt to mine. And it is good and ready to dish up. So guys, there you go. Look at that delicious bowl of quick chicken noodle soup. You can add any of your favorite veggies. Like I, sometimes I use peas. Um, the possibilities are endless. You can even try rice in this dish. And look at all the nice big chunks of chicken. So I'm going to go and eat some of this. So bon appetit, everybody.